okay. Making a nose cone thing right here of this and this right here, which you saw a minute ago, come loose during taxi. So this is going to need to be put on, changed. You can actually see here that this will come off and is only held on by that retainer right there. So, what 
which I had come loose a couple times. I just haven't glued it on yet, so I need to secure that. I need to put some glue on that to keep that from slipping off when it's bouncing around because I added extra springs to give more shock to it, shock strut to it, but it was vibrating off while it was driving in the grass. Did the same thing with the main, we did out the tall grass here, and you can see it. They wobble around. The wing folding mechanism. Make sure you can out so you can see the whole airplane. Come here. This is the locking mechanism that Pete was talking about from Banana Hobbies. On the sequencer, it draws that rod in, drops the wing, there's a small delay, and then it'll shoot back out here into the wing. So the wing is on solid. Pretty nice and solid. I can pick up the whole airplane by the wings. It's not balanced, so I keep wanting to get the nose heavy. That's just by the wing tips through the carbon rod, guys. And to open it up, switch it the other way. It pulls it back in, folds the wings up. The delay happens again. And you'll see the rod come back out, which shoots into the carbon fiber tube that is right here. So I think it's a pretty, pretty doable setup and will work pretty well. All the ordnance can be detached. These are, you know, glued on with the booger glue for looks cosmetics. I have counterbalanced my elevators, which is a personal preference of mine. There's lead weights in this little corner pocket right here so that when it's disconnected from the servo arm, it'll actually balance by itself. But that did add some tail weight to the airplane the same way. I'm not sure of the actual amount of ounces I had to put in there, but it's like one or two ounces in each tail fin uh, to put it on there. The hatch mod which I actually haven't got the rare earth magnets in yet. That looks like the paint's sticking just a little bit. A little tight. But I made a little makeshift antenna so I can get a handhold on it. But anyway, it'll have that rare earth magnets and a dowel pin goes in there so that you can get to the ESCs. The ESCs are located right here. with two cheater holes right here, right in front of the EDFs, which are sitting right about flush right there. And of course the two cheater holes that are up here in front of it along with the bottom of it. Still working on the canopy opening mechanism because my radio on my Futaba 12FG is having some compatibility issues with the stock module that comes included with the airplane. So for the retract for the wing folding mechanism, I'm using an EMS uh, electric gear door sequencer from Tower Hobbies that works as a suitable substitute just fine. It's just that you don't have anything now to power the canopy opening mechanism. Since the stock one, the unit is combined and controls both through two different channels. I've ordered some replacement parts I'm going to try. You can actually use the stock retract module for the electric retracts. It will open this and put it on a separate channel and a separate module by itself. I just haven't done it yet. But I experimented with it last night and it works. But I know some guys wanted to see how well it taxis on grass with the stock wheels because it's not real feasible to put larger wheels in the airplane because of the uh, tight confinement to the wheel wheel doors and so forth. Without modifying or actually removing the doors, you're not going to be able to get larger wheels. I posted the wheel sizes up on the build thread at RC Groups for those guys who want to see it. But Two 6S's, or two 3S's, excuse me, two 3S batteries. Here's the battery compartment. Magnet, you can come over and look down inside there. <clears throat> I haven't played around with the CG. The CG is right on the joint where the two fuselage halves come together. Uh, Pete from Benal Hobby says that he's pretty much balanced his flush with the canopy opening right here, but I'm finding that because a lot because of what I'm, the mods and tail weight I've added to it. Um, Mine was coming out real, real tail heavy, so I have to shoot the batteries further. You can move the batteries up to about here in the cockpit up underneath this. And the fact that I'm using XT150 connectors instead of their stock, um, where they had them 
you chain them together with the bullet connectors and then make one bullet connection to complete the success series here. Uh, I'm using some, I'm, I set mine up a little differently and I also am using 10 gauge wire as opposed to the 12 gauge wire that comes stock with the setup because I will be putting a more powerful setup in the airplane at a later date using Wemotech Mini 480s and a pair of Cyclone 2800s. Currently what I've got in here is the stock setup with the exception of the ESCs. There's a pair of Turnigy Plus 80s in there right now but the 50 amp ones that come with it, which are a better quality, are work great with the stock setup. I'm just pre-loading pre mine with a, with a more uh, higher amp setup since the motors will draw above the capacity of the 50 amp ESCs. But there's how it handles the grass. It will actually handle on a grass runway. This is pretty thick out here out in front of my apartment. So, I wanted everybody to see that. Never ask me about it.